indeed. So the mascots are out on the pitch, the flags are being waved, the home areas pretty full, despite some speculation that disgusted Wednesday fans would be refusing to turn up off the back of Friday night. The away end absolutely packed. It's BBC Radio Cambridge yet every kick of the ball, all being well, we're just a couple of hours away from Wembley. As glorious as last Friday was, it feels like we're having to pay for it this Thursday. <laughs> Zef from Mason Clark has waved away by the referee. He felt he should have had a free kick. Now the luck is going for Wednesday. Callum Patterson's ball was shanked, but it's found a teammate. Delivery comes in. Norris is scrambling. The ball has fallen to Patterson. He's dragged his shot into the path of a colleague. And Sheffield Wednesday have their second goal. Very fortunate that. But they don't care at Hillsborough. Bosch in disarray as Wednesday get their second. In the duel with Cipriano, I just didn't expect his tackling to be quite as good as it was. And then all of a sudden, other players, and it becomes infectious, and all of a sudden you've got three or four players, and then that's it, the whole team start to get nervous. Well, And it changes just... And it felt like it started it the moment. It just changes. Joe Ward sort of dived, not even tackled, but dived into a player. What was that? The tenth minute, and it feels like it has been a, a virus going through the team since then. The noise is deafening. Barmy Army is the cry around us. And we're stunned. We just can't believe what we're seeing. Much like the first leg, but in a very different way. Looking so dangerous, have another corner. If they score, this place would have got absolutely wild, Ben. Wild. I've got no time for it, Franny. No, no the referee's playing his part, he's trying to waste time, he wants to get on. <laughs> he's uh, from Lincolnshire, apparently. But there's uh, no suggestions of any favours for Posh. As Barry Bannon's delivery comes in, Smith might have won the header! Second ball headed towards goal. And it is saved by Will Norris, but my gosh, Posh not even living life dangerously. I need a new word for it. Teetering on the edge here. And Will Norris. Is he writing himself into the uh, Posh folklore here with this display? We are uh, due to be on air again tomorrow night. Friday night sport, getting reaction to tonight, but I don't know, if Posh don't hold in, might call in sick, because I don't fancy an hour of analysis on it. And Posh, five and a half, plus stoppage time, away from Wembley. Wednesday coming again, Smith, been a target man really, he's shown his abilities and his technique there, laying the ball off as the Another flood of blue and white shirts come forward. It's with James on this left-hand side. Good block from Kipriani. And everything, we've got players falling down for cramp. I offer on the far side, the first victim. I mean, credit to them, Franny. We mocked them, well, some of us mocked them quite a bit after uh, last week. Some of their own fans tearing into them and mocking them, but they have given everything in this second yeah, leg. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent performance just made with that fourth goal is a, hopefully just a little bit of a stretch out for him. That's whoa, what you need. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what have you said that for? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you hope. You hope that the fourth goal is too much of a stretch for them, don't you? <laughs> you get a panicking. You didn't need to. Oh, you get a panicking. I've been panicking for the last half hour, Francis. Now some strange clapping starts around Hillsborough. The siege continues on Posh's area, but Ephraim Mason... Four, the fourth official six minutes. The Wednesday fans go crazy for that. I didn't actually see the fourth official appear. Maybe he didn't want to be uh, lynched by the home fans. Six minutes, Franny. What do you make of that, my fan? Probably about right. I don't think no one can complain. I think it's about right. 
Six minutes from Wembley. I will put down again. And we could be less than a minute away here to the final whistle. It was never meant to be this nervy. Posh a 3-0 down at Hillsborough. And yet when the final whistle goes, there'll be pandemonium from the Posh fans. A long ball forward. Surely he's looking at his watch. The referee. Oh, he's going to allow one last attack. Wednesday have a throw on the far side. Level with Posh's area. It's now or never for Wednesday. The run-up is immense for this throw. In it comes into Posh's area, flicked on, it's running around in the area, cleared only as far as Bannon, Johnson's going to chip it towards the back post, Wednesday header across the face of goal and score, Wednesday has scored, Wednesday has scored with probably the last kick of the game, of normal time, it's pandemonium around us, and just as there were amazing scenes in the first leg of London Road, Sheffield Wednesday, created their own bits of glory a miracle at Hillsborough against the posh with a goal with the last moment of the game we played over seven minutes of stoppage time it is heartbreak heartbreak for the posh I mean not many people will argue with you that Sheffield Wednesday didn't deserve it but what a way what a way to concede a goal it's the last kick of the game, Ben. Well, it's, it's not. The it's, the last, it's the last kick of the game. If you deal with that, you are on the way to Wembley. It's a drama of the playoffs, but wow. Wow, wow. And where to Posh go from here now? Seconds away from Wembley. They now potentially have another half an hour of football to play. And you can't blame Sheffield Wednesday for celebrating. I don't need to remind you, 4-0 up was the score after the first leg. It's 4-0 in the second leg. And it's Sheffield Wednesday that have done the unthinkable. We said time and time again, it had never been done before. And now, if I'm honest, Posh looked incredibly rattled. They are remonstrating with the ref, where did the extra added time come? The fans at one stage almost celebrated as there's less than a minute remaining. And now we've got to gear ourselves up for extra time. So just to reiterate, no side in playoff history has ever thrown away a four-goal lead, a four-goal first-leg lead heading into a second leg. Both sides currently in huddles, as you can imagine. The Sheffield Wednesday huddle rather more animated than the posh huddle. Well, this was not the script. And quite frankly, you don't want to be too hard on the posh players. But they look shell-shocked out there. They look absolutely shell-shocked and they look like they might be losing it somewhat. In the exchanges, you had Hector Kipriano squaring up to one Wednesday player, had to be pulled away. You had the management team berating the ref. And we're definitely in uncharted territory now. Edwards going long for Posh. They've now collected it in Wednesday territory. And then, unfortunately, can't quite keep it in. Four nil left, four nil up, and you messed it up. Is the uh, family-friendly version of the chart being directed at the Bosch fans? 25 shots. Sheffield Wednesday have had. Still don't believe it. Is this Posh's moment though? On the far side. Got to get a decent chance to drop our way. I don't think we've had a decent chance. Would you say? No. Well, Poku Poku early doors, but that felt like a lifetime ago. As the delivery comes in, and it's found the back of the net. No idea how it's got there, but Posh have steered it in an extra time. They celebrate in the corner. Butler's delivery 
somehow in the back of the net. And the thousands of posh fans who came in hope to Hillsborough are celebrating once again. Nathan Thompson's been credited with a goal. What an amazing impact he may have had on this game. Sheffield Wednesday still lead on the night by four goals to one. But on aggregate, it's the posh who are back on front. Four goals to five. And like a pair of bouncers, they've done a cracking job there. The breakaway, not really an option. As the ball falls for Wednesday in Posh's half. Eight and a half minutes remain. Brown then squaring it. Chance, second attempt, it's going to be tucked away. Wednesday have another equaliser. Hillsborough breaks out in pandemonium once more. And Posh had a couple of opportunities to clear. But in the end, poked home at the second attempt. This game will not die and it will not go in Posh's favour and aggregate now it is Sheffield Wednesday 5 Peterborough United 5 well for the neutral it's game of the season let's be honest for the neutral but when we're sat here now I mean I can't re- I don't know how cool how long I can stay this cool for I mean it's it's absolutely crazy Posh have a free kick do they which you imagine once it is taken will be the end and we are going to Pete to penalties Norris takes the free kick the whistle goes and Peterborough United will need to win a penalty shootout to stay in the playoffs and make it to Wembley unbelievable with even at this stage this evening but after 90 minutes at London Road and 120 minutes at Hillsborough the aggregate score is five apiece which means it's time for the dreaded spot kicks but once again this is huge, this is a massive pressure. Dawson again greets him on the edge of his six-yard area. Butler with hands on hips. Approaches it with his left foot. He's hit the crossbar. Down Butler hits the crossbar. Advantage, Sheffield Wednesday. They lead by two goals to one. No problem with the way he hit it, but it hits the crossbar.